Good morning. I'm out here on the back deck. I want to show you this uh, frost. There's even frost on the house, everything. It's all frosted up. Anyway, it's a little after 8 o'clock, Monday morning, week of Christmas. And I'm going to try to do a little work on my old car out here. But I'm going to wait until uh, maybe around noon. It'll be warming up. i got to pull it up away from the rest of the cars in case I start a fire and burn it up. I don't want to burn them all up. I'm going to cut out the floorboard, maybe just in sections. We'll see. The car came with uh, brand new floorboards, and they were never installed. So that's going to be... My plan, at least to get a start on it. I don't have a garage, so I just do everything out here and uh, try to get her done. But what's the hurry, you know? The car runs good. So I just gotta focus my attention on these floorboards. So I'm dressed rather warm, so I'm not really feeling it too bad right now. I might be able to get an earlier start than I thought. Got my thermal pants on and uh, sun's shining. There's not really no breeze. Yep. I think that's what we're going to do. So, we'll see how that goes. I'll go take a picture of the car, a little video or something. It's frozen solid to the ground. So, here's the 78 El Camino I picked up runs good and it's gonna need a paint job I got my bigger wheels on it but I've got to go down a size in tires because they're rubbing got the air shocks up so you can see I can ride on the windshield there if I wanted to uh, wash me or something it's frozen solid but I'm gonna turn the key later and I know it's going to pull right out of it because, uh, like I said, it runs and it runs fine. But I can't have it too close to the other cars here. Welding on it, cutting on it. In case I start a fire, that wouldn't be good at all. So that's the plan. Get it out and start cutting on the floorboards. Oh, hey. Well, it's still sunny out. Uh, I got burnt out. Just a lot of work. Ripping the floorboards out. All that rusty stuff. And grinding and cutting. Then my welder wouldn't work. Got jammed up. Had to take it halfway apart. Got it fixed. And uh, had to do some grinding and cleaning up. So I just I could get down to the bare metal and do some work. And... Ended up finding a lot of water in the car in this blanket and stuff because it's it's got bad seals. I've ordered new seals. So, anyway, um, in trying to move the car, I couldn't get forward or reverse. So, I'm on a slope. It rolled downhill where I wanted it. Then I was like, well, I smell fibers. I smell clutches burning out of the transmission. So that's great. So I went and got some tools and and some transmission fluid uptown, came back, warmed it up, added a quart of O'Reilly's tranny fluid, and just left it. Just said, well, I'm just go ahead and work on the floorboards. Worked on the floorboards, and I got the new ones all tacked in, and later on I'll put more tacks and then more tacks until I've got it all welded in tight. And then we'll seal it up real good. But for right now, that's what I did. And uh, then I ended up firing it up and got it to roll forward and just kind of played with it a little. And it, I got it up on a hill and it rolled backwards and kind of went into reverse. And then uh, got back in drive again. I got it where I actually is. Got it back where it usually parks, but I couldn't turn it around. So I just pulled it in backwards. So we'll see if I can get it out of here one day. 
Might need a transmission. I still haven't worked on the front brakes. I got a torch I bought, but you know, that's for another day. So as of right now, that's it. I'm tired. I'm going to have a cup of coffee.